The Real Estate Revolution Radio Show is designed to educate Missoula homeowners and home buyers how to navigate the uncharted waters of the current Western Montana real estate market in an educational, often edgy, and high energy fashion with host Jason Baker. Jason will teach you all the secrets on how to win with real estate, from listing your property to purchasing investments. Jason has you covered. Be sure to check the home of the week, the good news, and current market updates each week. Jason is revolutionizing the real estate experience for over 100 clients a year. Welcome to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. Jason, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, brother. How are you? <laughs> Doing great. It's been a spring-ish weather outside, if you know what I mean. I got the I got the spring the spring vibes. For you sure. got the spring vibes. Mm-hmm. This morning I woke up to frost on my lawn. Well, that's Montana though. I know. You're going to have the heater on in the morning and the air conditioning on in the air. Oh, absolutely. No, I'm not complaining. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. And I was actually passed out on my lawn. <laughs> That's literally woke up on my lawn. Literally woke up on my lawn. Just kidding. It's Sunday. We can't talk like that, right? It was a of rough course, night. Of course, I'm irreverent seven days of the week. I mean, Sunday included, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, I've never, ever been accused of being self-righteous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not, not at once. Well, listen, man, how you been? Good? Yes, great. Yeah. And, and we're still, like we, like we said, the spring stuff is guys cleaning up around the house, noticing there's a lot of of, uh, of things to do, yeah. especially if you want to, you know, keep it Did you get nice. your burn permit yet? Uh, no, I have not. Yeah. I don't have that much to burn, unless I want to have a, my second. Well, you, you told me about that neighbor you didn't like. I want to <laughs> have this, the second lighting of my Christmas tree. How ah, about that? Yeah, I like that. No, that's <laughs> that's really always a good. fun party. Did you take the ornaments off? No. No, okay. All right. Well, let's talk about real estate, my man. So, so look, so this morning I was just looking on the uh, internet. <laughs> Missoula has 30 homes for sale. That's it. That's it. The whole yeah, county. Single family residents in the whole county. The whole 60. County. Exactly. You know, just as much. I mean, think about that. 60 homes for 125,000, 130,000 people. Yeah. Crazy. That is nuts. I've never seen anything like that. So yeah, it's uh, it. we are in dire need of listing inventory. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's crazy. So and then, of course, I live down the Bitterroot and uh, I live in Florence. And I have to, you know, I can't, you know, I've got to give love to the Bitterroot since, yeah. you know, we do a bunch of business in the Bitterroot usually over half of our business. And there's only 84 homes for sale down the bitter, even more than Missoula County with a third of the population. So yeah, but it's still, you know, historically way low. So just wanted everybody to know that. And then the uh, average sale prices are still, you know, uh, you know, creeping up. It seems like every minute, um, which is good. So I got a good question. Yeah, I got a question. Out of, out of those, uh, the, the, you said 60 in Missoula County and mm-hmm. 80 in River Valley. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many of them are new builds? Yeah, so the, I did not look up the new builds uh, on that. To I didn't do the queries, so yeah, I could do that for you though. Okay, look yeah. into it because yeah. I'm interested. I see a lot of sticks going yeah. up down there. There the are, yeah. Know? We're going to be listing uh, some new builds here pretty quick. So yeah, right. so it's really good. Yeah, I'll look that up. I, I would venture to guess five uh, percent. Oh really? Yeah, oh, I figured mm-hmm. way higher than that. Yeah, it's it's uh, there's there's some building going on, but a lot of them are already spoken for, and they a yeah. lot of them don't hit the MLS. That's okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. Makes a lot of them sense. are a lot of them are custom builds. Not a whole bunch of subdivisions going in. So yeah. Well, today, you know, I, I get the question a lot, and I, I know that we've talked about it. I get the question is, uh, you know, what, what, how do I choose? Like a real estate agent, like what does a real estate agent actually do behind the scenes when it comes to selling a home? Mm-hmm. Like, and, it, and I guess probably not all real estate agents do that. So I'm just going to talk about me because I don't want to guess what someone else is or isn't doing. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, It'd be yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so, so I just want to go over like a plan. Like, Jason, what is it? How, how do you or how does your team, um, how are you in the, in the entire MLS residential sales? What is it that you're doing different? To, that other people can, I want to teach people what to do in order to help them net the most amount of money. I don't care when, when we, we want to help that family. That's a large, owning a home is your largest investment. Yeah. And when we're entrusted to sell it, we want to make sure that we sell it for the most amount of money. So right. we're going to go over, you know, our system. I probably shouldn't do this for my competition. <laughs> you know, do you think any of them are they're, tuning in? They're, they're taking out their notebooks right now. Yeah, they got like, like picture me on the wall, like throwing darts at me or something like that, you know. <laughs> I don't blame them. Voodoo you know, dolls. I'm kind of yeah, a little voodoo doll, a little real estate voodoo doll. Yeah. Don't bury the St. Michael. Bury the voodoo doll in front of Jason's listings. Yeah. But anyway, okay. We can't talk about voodoo dolls on Sunday, you know, yeah, like right. of all the days. Sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Yeah. So anyway, so um, our, our job is to sell a house in the shortest amount of time for the most amount of money for our sellers. I mean, that's our goal. But we also want the experience for them to be really good. You know, the, the number one thing that we hear all the time is, you know, the reason why, like my, my house didn't sell with the last agent or the last time I used a real estate agent, this happened. It's not 99% of the time. It's just lack of communication mm-hmm. or inexperience uh, of the agents, uh, of the uh, of the last agent that they work with. So I always 
always say anybody, Casey, can sell a home, but not everybody can sell it for the most amount of money. Right. You know, virtually, you know, a, a, a person on the street could go throw a sign up and someone would probably drive by and make an offer. But how many tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars are they leaving them on the table? Yeah. And unless you're really good at flea market haggling like a- I am. Absolutely. Well, you're going to have to tell. We're going to have to do a, a separate show on flea market haggling. That's that's exactly right. Five dollars. That's my final <laughs> offer. <laughs> that's fine. Exactly. Well, you know, if the original item was only a dollar, they'd be doing OK. So but listen, so the number one way uh, that we help as family, you know, help as many families as we do is we have 10 of us. You know, so people say, well, what is a Jason Baker team? There's 10 people that work in my office. OK, I just hired two more. Um, so. And it's, you know, for people, I mean, w- w- as real estate agents, I mean, we, we make a reasonable fee service when we sell someone's home. Yeah. We do that. And you have to make sure that it's earned. Right. In my opinion. Right. I don't think it's a small amount of money. I'm with the sellers on yeah. that. And you're not just sitting back, kicking your feet up, you know, <laughs> yeah, I wish. waiting for the office <laughs> yeah, to come wish, in. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah. I know my stomach kind of looks like that's all I do, but, you know, it, it isn't. I actually work. I, the one thing I've been blessed with is, a, is an incredible uh, work ethic. That is... Uh, like I'm, I'm basically like this morning. I was up at three forty-seven. I was on the computer. Wow. I was running. Co- yeah, I was. I, it's, I'm, I wasn't still up. I think Gilligan's Island's just <laughs> yeah. on, on TV at that time. <laughs> even, Reruns I, of Gilligan's I, Island. I, I lost my remote control a long time yeah, ago. Even know what TV is. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. But you know, you're getting ten people for the price of one. Right. That, that's really what I say. So that's our claim to fame. How do we do this volume of business and how do we make the experience so good for people? Mm-hmm. This so, there's, there's 10 of us working on the common goal of getting the hustle. The boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Well, it's like I am no good at paperwork. OK, but here's the, but I'm really good at sales. and I'm really good at marketing. Mm-hmm. So what am I going to do? Sit there all day and do paperwork? No, I have an amazing administrative. We have four admin on our team oh, cool. whose sole job is to make sure that I don't mess something up, but yeah. also to give a great, great service, like calling on a showing, calling on a detail, calling on some mm-hmm. paperwork, need something brought over to your house, need booties. I'm no good at that. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, but they're really good at nurturing our sellers, which is important for me. And they're an extension of what we've built. And they're, you know, a very intricate and important part of our team mm-hmm. in our business. So it's good to have. Yeah. So there's 10 of us, right? So that's the number one thing. But the number one, and, and this is for people like the number one question you have to ask an agent that you're interviewing, in my humble opinion, if you're selling a residential property specifically, is... You know, I always say someone could get up, Casey, and say they just have like they give this amazing presentation. There's like gold flowing in like roses and everything flowing yeah. out of their mouth, like to the point where the seller stands up and just gives them a <laughs> yeah. round, you know, right round on. of yeah. applause at the yeah. end of the presentation. But then they come to their senses, you know, out of the ether mm-hmm. and they go, but how many times did that marketing plan work right. last year or in 2021 or last month or so far this year or whatever it is? Mm-hmm. And the, the agent goes two times, three times, four times, you know, versus, you know, in 2021, 170, 107, um, you know, families helped. Right. You know, so the marketing plan is it, the, is only as good as the results that it it's created. proven. The proof is in the pudding. Right. Always ask your agent about the pudding. Right. How many resident? If you're selling a house, is it chocolate or vanilla? How, yeah, that's right. <laughs> how many residential sales did you close? Because the rest of it, it's like where does the, there's 900 real estate agents, give or take, mm-hmm. in the area. How in the world do you know which one to use? Right. You know. Well, my friend referred him. Well, did you ask him how many? T- when you first get into the business, the only thing you can do is you can say, friend, could you please, do you know anyone looking to buy or sell real estate? Mm-hmm. Well, well, yeah, Bobby Sue. I'll refer Bobby Sue over to you. The friend's trying to help the friend, which yeah. is naturally how it goes. But the, if it's a half a million dollars or a million dollars or 1.5 or 2.5, and you're entrusting someone who's never done a transaction before with your largest asset, yeah. does that make any sense to you? It's just a friend of a friend helping not, not, thing. not that you're not a spring chicken, but if you ever did have to go in, you know, to the hospital and have open heart surgery, would right. you want someone that's straight out of medical school, or straight out of medical school or the, you know, the guy with a steady hand, right? You know, yeah. so anyway, so it's kind of like that. So you always like the, the number one question just to get rid of all the BS is just how many did you actually sell? The second most important question is in relationship to what you are asking, the asking price, how much over that, if at all, did you sell it for? Right. We interviewed on a, on a property down in Hamilton and we looked at, we were up against two or three other agents and uh, they had called me. Luckily I was referred to them and we spoke to them and <clears throat> the agents that I was interviewing against um, were the, uh, one of them had, their average was 96% of list price. So if it's a hundred thousand dollars, they sold them for 96. 
and we were at about 103, 104. So six or seven percent difference. Difference. Yeah. So if it's a five hundred thousand dollar house, that could be thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars. It's a chunk of change. It's a chunk. Of, I mean, what would you do with an extra thirty-five thousand? Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. I mean, what hunting thing would we buy? <laughs> I mean, do, do, we, do we even have to think what kind about of, that? What kind of fancy toys would I go get? <laughs> That's exactly right. So it's it's so important because it's like, so again, like anybody can chuck a sign up, but not everybody knows how to, you know, has the experience to go and to do all this stuff. So, anyways, well, we're gonna go with some more of those questions that you need to do as far as vetting when yeah. it comes to getting your real estate agent uh, right after this quick commercial break. We'll be back with more Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker right after this. Hey, your friend Sean Hannity here with some personal advice for home sellers. Now, there are various companies or agents that will offer to give you cash up front for your home, but be careful. Now, often there are dramatically lower prices or hidden fees that the average person can miss, and that can cost you a lot of money. That's why I prefer to work with a great, smart real estate agent that truly knows the local market and can give me the best advice and put the most money in my pocket. I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. Now, Jason can give you an instant cash offer or with his accelerated demand program, well, he turns up the marketing and gets you the most money for your home. But more importantly, he can help you look at all the options with hundreds of potential buyers, and that creates demand for your home and helps your home sell at a price and deadline that you agree to, or he buys it. Don't leave money on the table. Talk to the only agent in town I recommend. Call Jason at 552-4443, online, jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. Welcome back to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, we're talking today about how you pick your real estate agent. What you, questions you need to ask. Yep, you, you, it's it's so important how we pick it and then what we actually do to get these things sold. So the first question before the break, if you guys are just tuning in right now, guys or gals are tuning in, is to ask them how many listings they mm -hmm. sold. Doesn't matter how many buyers they drove around like a taxi driver. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. What was the marketing plan that sold the listings and how many did you sell? You gotta What's ask the them, track record. What's your track record for selling listings? Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. Not the volume, the units. How many units? That's a, that's a most important that's question. So question one. When it comes to selling the home, like what is it that we do at the Jason Baker team to sell, like I said before the break, over a hundred uh, you know, help a hundred families per year, okay, or more. Um, so far this year, we've helped 36 families. Wow. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're super blessed. That's not bad and, for March. Brother, we are we're, like, I, I think for the next, like, well, it's Sunday. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I worked all the way through the weekend. Don't remind me. It's still working. <laughs> I was going to try to take a couple days off, but then no. it's, no, it's not going to happen. No, okay. no rest. Mush, mush. All right. So you got to, so the proper pricing strategy, that, that's the most important thing right now is that we don't over, like you're going to get a ton of money for your house right now, mm -hmm. but don't overprice it to the point where there's no showing. So we have to have a proper pricing strategy. You can and, tell right off the bat too if you're I, overpriced. I can right? tell right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. If we don't have, you know, 10, 15, 20 showings, you know, like boom, like scheduled right away, mm -hmm. in every sense of the word, your agent's overpriced your house. How yeah. much? If we don't have that many, uh, incrementally, so typically they say if you have zero showings or, you know, one or two showings, what happens is, uh, you're probably off by 10 or 15 percent. Okay. But if you do have some, you know, you have half as many. So you have a seven or eight versus 15 to 20, something like that. Yeah. You're, you're probably three to five percent off there. OK. Yeah, I, I would venture to guess. But it's not happening a lot. But if it does happen, you know, you need to do a small adjustment. Right. Yeah. Right. And we have a computer system that tracks all that. But that's number one is make sure that it's priced right, because the more showings equals the more offers, the more offers, the more the more money. Cha-ching. Yep, absolutely. We love that. Mm -hmm. You can start playing that song, I'm that money song. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing you have to do is you have to make the house look unbelievable. So we do professional photos, Casey. We do drone, the Matterport. We don't fly the drone in the house. You'll be <laughs> we do videos of the properties. And then, and then we do staging consults. You know, if they need a, uh, we have this concierge program where we help people get their house ready. People can ask me; it's a case by case basis. Now, I'm not just giving away hundreds of thousands of dollars, of course, because I because they say divorce is super expensive as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've read that. I, why I is it so popular? Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I Google, my wife is on my Google. She's like, "What are you googling?" No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> but uh, we have vendors, painters, contractors, everybody lined up. You know, carpet cleaners and things like that. Of course, we use them. You mm -hmm. know, all the time. Your I mean, photos are great too, because. 
because you have kind of that virtual walkthrough yeah. experience when you're doing it. 96% of the people, got, I mean, think about it. Very few people are driving around anymore. Oh, you know, bump into one real estate sign in the whole town of Missoula. Right. You know, trying to find the one. It's like the golden right. ticket right now, right? <laughs> so the easier way to do that is to go online to our website, the jasonbakerteam.com, and just go on there and you have full access to our MLS on that website. Just start searching. Yeah. And like, the, like I said, the photos, <clears throat> so you, can, you don't even have to do the open house. You can just walk through the house with your photos. The great thing, and I'll, I'll admit this, the great thing, people go to my website all the time. They go, Jason, I have to put my name and my phone number in there. <laughs> I'm like, well, my phone number's right on the front of the page. So you got mine. Yeah. That's my cell phone, actually. <laughs> it's forward facing. Don't call after yeah. 2 a.m. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> uh, so, but it, it's, it, but it's like, so, so yeah, I'll give you mine. Now you give me yours. Now, the reason why I do that is that's lead capture. Like, if I can't talk to anybody, mm -hmm. then how am I helping my seller sell their house? Because our right. listings are right at the bottom of the page. Right. So yeah. if I can't talk to them, like I'm not trying to get a bunch of people go to my website just to look at fancy pictures. I'm trying to be able to have a conversation with them because people are still supposed to talk. Did you know that? Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's talk well, radio. Well, we have social media. Yeah, we have stuff. social media. Yeah. 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 Have you ever felt, I mean, have you ever felt real warm and fuzzy when you get lots of likes by people you have no clue no, who they are? I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. I way too, like, there's, there's way too many people I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah. On my friends I, list. <laughs> I, I kind of like talking. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good. So, so we make, so we, we price it right. And we price it where we're going to get the most amount of showings. Then we make it look amazing. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. But if you have all this great media and you don't put it out there into the world in ways I'm going to go over, mm -hmm. what good is What's the media? What's the point? Yeah, it's yeah. like, i got these great pictures, but nobody can see them. Yeah. This makes a ton of sense. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> put it? all that work into it. No one can see so it. Every so every single listing, we're having the professional photographer down there. They call. They schedule it to go down there. And it makes people feel good. Yeah. And they deserve it because there's nothing worse than sideways pictures, dark pictures. I've seen. I saw an agent. I, we sold a house over in Coburg. I saw an agent standing out front of a home with a flip phone oh, taking photos. That's pretty ancient technology. Just give me right? 6%. <laughs> I'll give you and I'll trade you for that 6%. I'm going to trade you some flip phone photos, Casey. Right, yeah, or disposable cameras. We'll, get, we'll get those pictures Would back Would it have been bad if I went by and hit him with my door? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that's unethical, highly. Okay. So anyways, no, but, but seriously, consider what someone's doing for the money that they're charging. Right. You right. have a choice. Yeah. It, it drives me nuts. That for me, well, it's, that's, a, it's a get with you pay for kind of thing. Right? Can you tell I get a little pissed off about it? A but, little the, bit. but the fact <laughs> of the matter is, is that seriously, that's like real estate malpractice. Right. In my opinion. Yeah. I'm not singling anybody out. Try harder. Yeah. Try harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no wonder people consider it for sale by owner. Right. You know? Exactly. Do your job and don't put all capitals in that description either. Oh my gosh. Oh, is so it like you're yelling. Don't even get me going. <laughs> I'm yelling now. Can you turn the volume down? Okay. All right. I'm going to keep going. So I, my blood pressure. You're talking in all capitals right now. <laughs> I still love it. Yeah. All right. So, so we want to advertise the heck out of it. What are we doing? I do not pay a national chain brokerage. It's Rise Realty. I'm, I'm a local, I, you know, I don't like, I don't have these, this massive overhead and I pass those savings onto our sellers. But really what I do, KC, is I use that extra money, that 50 or $100,000, I'm no longer paying to a national chain. I can tell you one thing, no logo ever sold the property for me. Logos don't walk and they do not talk. Right. I, I don't know if you knew that. Unless it's a Nike swoosh. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Nike swoosh. Yeah. <laughs> You, ever, you see how much those new Nikes are? I forget. I don't want to talk Don't about even it. get started. Yeah, it's crazy. Don't even get me started. So, but uh, but I do not. I have not aligned with a national chain of brokerage for the simple reason is I get enough incoming referrals from our outbound advertising, and I'm not beholden to them in any way. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, I don't have to pay all that extra money. I can use that to market our listings, and I most certainly do. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, we're Google verified. They basically took a DNA sample and measurements. I didn't want him to share the measurements online. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, the look I just gave Jason. Yeah, like, Wait did. a minute. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah he's, he's like, farmersonly.com? No, I'm just kidding. No. But anyways, no, I'm married. I'm happily married. Sorry, ladies. Yeah, but anyways. but And then I advertise real heavily. So, you know, 25, 26,000 people a day between TV, uh, radio, you know, Hannity, LaVox, yourself, Casey, Bobby Bones, Scott, um, the DJ, um, uh, Peter, so mm -hmm. many people, and, and, and I can't thank you enough, yeah. you know, for getting this information out to the public. I mean, it's so important that we protect them, right. and it just drives me crazy, But it, as you can tell. But anyways, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, w when 25,000 people are going to hear you, you're, they're going to go to that website, and that's going to help my sellers sell their house. Our, our, our website has amazing lead capture that we talked about just a few minutes ago. Okay, yeah. Now, we do this radio show, Real Estate Revolution. Okay, It's educating people, but people do hear this, and they do go to our house of the week. Yep. And, they, and every single house of their property of the week that we've had is sold. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Must Despite the fact that my picture's <laughs> in the front yard. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I on purpose don't put my picture on the side. Yeah. So... 
Now, we prospect, so here's another way we get the word out. We pro- if, if, if we go, got to go to a commercial or something, just throw something at me, because I'm just going to rifle right, through you these, okay? It. You just tell me, all right? Because I'm, I'm passionate about this. But we prospect on the telephone from 8.30 to 11.30 every day. Every day. Every one of my agents has to speak to 20 people a day and say, here's my new listing. Do you know anyone that wants to buy it? Nice. Every single morning. And wow. if I've called you and that made you mad, please forgive me. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's just because I told my sellers I would, so I will. Right. Okay, and that's so important. Now, we offer through BK Co Mortgage, and Coleman was on four or five weeks ago with us, no fee mortgages. And so, why is that important on just our listings or for our buyers? Because less people are going to negotiate if they're not paying that extra six or seven thousand in mortgage fees. Right. So, it can net the seller more as a byproduct of not having to pay that fee for a buyer. It's extra money in your pocket. If the buyer doesn't have to pay the fee on that house that they're buying my listing, they can't ask the seller to pay for it. Yeah. Right? It's more that that definitely looks a lot. We're better. not going to allow that to happen. We're just going to say here's a free mortgage. Right. Have fun, yeah. okay? All right. So, I am and have joined the Place Network. Now, that's not a capital suck like some of these uh, you know, and again, I'm not talking, you know, badly about uh, you know, national franchise. Just for me, it just didn't work. Right. It's just it's simply, right? So, um, but Place Inc, I get so many referrals from Place Inc, which just raised a 100 million dollar funding round and my my partner Ben will uh, come on the show one day with us. But Place Network, we get so many. That's our tech platform. That's that front-facing website, plus the behind-the-scenes and plus the marketing. Hmm. I'm in three coaching groups, Ford, MFO, and various referral groups around. So we're getting the top agents in the country are sending referrals to our team because they know about our work ethic. Yeah. Okay, And I also help train them as well. We spend over $40,000 a month on staffing and on marketing. The average agent spends four or five hundred a month. Really? Would you say that's a little more? Yeah, I think. You yeah, just a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, and this is why I don't have any brown hairs left on my head. They're completely gray. You know, so just for Jason would be in order. You know, my Christmas time right. next year. Yeah, or my birthday comes first in October. Yeah. Um, we Bright just, pink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly right. Bright pink hair. It was funny because my business partner had uh, on Friday uh, did a Facebook post with a pink shirt on. He was making fun of something. But anyway, uh, I digress. Now, we do targeted Facebook and social media ads or social media experts. We actually have someone on staff whose sole job is to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just to market. We do targeted Google ads. We do retargeting. We have 9,500 leads inside of our, our website. And we're constantly purging through those. And some people say, well, we're not looking anymore. But what we do is we market to them. So we're constantly at the forefront. We pay for every impression or every click mm-hmm. that they do. But if someone comes to your website, they came there for a reason. So we might as well stay in front of mind with them. Yeah. And we do that. And that helps get our listings in front of this group of of folks that are using our website. It's a system that it works and you, and you have, the, it, it you have the track record to prove it. And I'm not the one that has to run. Like I oversee all this. I pay for all of this, but my admin team is making sure that this is running for my sellers in the background. It's not just right. a sign as you're starting to see. Yeah. I know you didn't think it was. Yeah. <laughs> we so, don't want to put Jason's picture on any sign. That's, that's exactly right. We definitely don't. Like I said, face for radio. I mean, I, that, was, that was the first day. I haven't said it in a while, but it's a disclaimer. It's in the fine print at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the thing. We send out postcards, radio and TV ads, open houses. We do. We spend thousands of dollars on pay per click campaigns. We have a huge. We know a lot of people around town just because we've been doing this for a while, and we get to tell them about it. Okay. Our website gets tens of thousands of visitors a month. We have over 250 Google reviews. I can't tell you alone how important that is yeah. for our business, the validity of the business. People, I did not pay those people to write that. No, oh, when it comes to searching up realtors, I mean, that's... Yep. You, you know, yep, yeah, you go, it helps yeah. to have that on. Like them. if you Google chubby realtors, dude, I'm, I'm gonna very, <laughs> I'm, like I'm the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, yeah, dude, I am in the gym though. I got, I gotta say, like, I, you know, I'm like, trying. Yeah, that's right. Like I said, I tell everybody, I'm down to two chins. You know, you should have seen me before. Is what I say. Yeah. So, um, anyway, our our our, our brevity website. Um, there's ten of us, like I said before. Um, it, it, the the local agent relationships. We have agents that call me all the time and they say, "Jason, what do you have coming up?" Yeah, you well, know? you have networking. We you have know? networking. Yeah, I mean, I work with you know. There's so many professionals that I work with mm-hmm. on a daily basis. The ones that show our listings, and I'm you know forever grateful for them because uh, it's uh, you know without you know we we provide the listings and that when you sell a a, a home. It provides, you know, a livelihood for title companies, inspectors, appraisers. It's, you know, it helps the seller. It helps the buyer. I mean, but think about that. 
uh, the lender. There's just so it's so good for the economy, right? You know, uh, the 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 home sale process. I know that when I when I bought my place, I really appreciated how my yeah. my agent yeah. and the selling agent yeah. already had a working relationship with it's, each other. It's so good. We we understand how they work. We mm-hmm. understand things we're going to need to look out for, and also things that we can look forward to getting. We're mm-hmm. gonna we're gonna do, we're just it's it's. It's uh, that relationship is important. And plus, uh, you know, the buyers agents that are around town all are working with three, four, five, six buyers. And, you know, that's a huge think about that buyer pool on top of the one that we have. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just it's incredible. Well, speaking of buying and selling, Jason, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Yeah. When we come back, I want to hear about your featured property of the week. Oh, you know, I'm going to tell you. You got a good one. <laughs> yeah. You got a good one. It's coming up right after this. More Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. Hey, if you are in the market to make the most money for your home, Sean Hannity here with some important advice. Now, look, I'm an active investor. I have bought and sold a lot of properties in hot, cold, moderate markets. And one of the lessons I have learned is this. Hire the agent that knows how to create the most demand for your home. Now, if I needed to create demand in this market, no question, there's only one real estate agent I trust if I needed to sell my home. I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. Now, Jason can give you an instant cash offer or with his accelerated demand program, well, he turns up the marketing and gets you the most money for your home. While the average agent sells a home or two every month and only spends a couple of hundred bucks on marketing a year, Jason spends thousands of dollars every month to attract thousands of buyers. Now, that helps you generate multiple offers and sell your home for the most money possible. Now, anyone can give you a home evaluation. Call the agent that creates the most demand. Call Jason at 552-4443. Online, jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. Welcome back to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, we've been talking today about how you pick your real estate agent and questions you want to ask. Do you have a few more to add before we get to our featured property? Yeah, I do. I'll get to them really quick. Like all of those things that we do to get these sold, um, are there important reason why you should, you know, you know, ask these questions to make sure that the agents are actually doing this. But after all of that great marketing that we talked about Mm -hmm. that we do prior to, the number one thing is you can have the best marketing, the best photos, the best everything in the world, but you need to have a staff to answer the phone when these buyer leads come in. We get right. four to 600 a month incoming buyer inquiries. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have the team there, know what to say when they call and how to set an appointment actually available to go do it. Because if it was me answering the phone, doing yeah. all that, ticking the listing, out right. showing buyers, the phone would ring. Nobody would answer it. Yeah. We have someone that's 24-7, 365 answering that phone and handing it to the agents. It's not going to go to a voicemail. No, machine. we have all the agents to go out and do that. And then we negotiate a win-win. We're very experienced in negotiating. Last year, we received you know very close to 1,000 offers uh, that we've that we reviewed. And we close on time with no stress for the most amount of money. That's our claim to fame. The experience allows the a great experience for the sellers, which is really good. So speaking of selling, selling, I have some awesome properties. Properties. Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. So we just listed a property um, down in Hamilton, Montana. Two of them. Two places. One on Cochise. Okay. And this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath on an acre with amazing views. Oh, nice. Looking north in the valley. You can see east and west, but north. It's perched right there perfectly. It's just uh, over 2,000 square feet. It's a custom home, all main level, and it's listed for seven twenty nine nine. dollars And just Good listed. friend of mine. Just listed. Yep. Yeah. Well, it was listed four or five days ago. Offers are being held through Tuesday, so you got two more days to get in there and go okay. see it. Yep. Yeah. 865 Cochise. And then we have uh, one on uh, Alberta, uh, down in Hamilton as well. This is a main level home built in the mid 90s. It's a three bedroom, two bath home, some updating in there, all main level backs to a park, smaller lot, easy to manage, but again, all main level for three ninety. Oh, wow, Alberta. that's affordable. Yeah, yeah. that is and that's it's an up against home. the, up don't, against the park, Don't should. fall over, but this is going to be a great place <laughs> to watch the fireworks down the bitter. Yeah, like you said, you have a backyard, a park for your backyard. Dude, seriously, like just hop over the fence. Nice. Be real careful when you do that. See, when I fall, like it, it could go the, like the Richter scale. You know what I mean? It could <laughs> yeah, like go off. It's yeah. like on Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wait, what, so, was the, what was the address again on that one? One in Wade, Alberta. Okay, and then yeah. that it was just listed too, right? Yeah, just so listed. Offers are due tonight. So, you know, so it's 12 to 12. It's getting close to 12 30 right now. But yeah, the offers are due tonight by eight. So you'd have to run down there uh, and get and look at that. Basically, call me like right now. So yeah, yeah 406 552 
four 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 three, and I'll run down. I'm not going to run. I'll jog. Well, yeah, I'll I'll jog. Yeah, I'll jog. Yeah, it'll, it's a gentle. It'll pace. Be, well, yeah. the speed walking. I like yeah. doing the speed walking. That's yeah. right. Well, it's great. If you missed any of the p- properties that you all have, you can yeah. find them on the website. They are. Yeah, they're all on the website. JasonBakerTeam.com. Scroll down a little tiny bit, and then you'll see them right there. And you can click on them. Uh, you can do the Matterport tours and everything. And you can actually do. It's basically like a virtual open house. They can just walk right through. So you got the website, or you can call yep. them, Bug Jason, if you want to. The phone number again. It's four zero six five five two four 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 three. All right. And if you missed any of our Real Estate Revolution radio shows, you can listen to them in our podcast that we got posted up at NewstalkKGBO.com. Until next time, you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we will see you next week right here on Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker.